That's what it do. Dark Mars all on me, I'm just honest. Hey, what it do? Rockstar, my swag, I'm just honest. Hey, what it do? Everything is out of gun, just honest. Gold all of my neck, I'm just honest. Hey, what it do? Yeah. I'm just honest. I'm just honest. I'm just honest. I'm just honest. Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's your boy M3 for back with another BMW vlog. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but in my last video, I was doing an upgrade for my old 328 uh, rotors and calibers and brake pads and all that, and upgraded to my newer, bigger, and better rotors for the M3 and the M3 caliber, which are bigger than my 328. So that's like a little upgrade for me. But um, as you can see. When me and Fabe took off our the front right tire, we realized I needed new stabilizer, stabilizer links, I needed new control arms, um, I needed basically a whole new front. So we decided to go ahead and do that before we could actually put on the new M3 brakes. I actually ordered those the same day and it came um, two days later, it came pretty fast. It wasn't two day shipping, nothing like that. It was regular shipping, came in two days. But um, it goes right here. I got it from Moog, M-O-O-G. Steering and suspension, you can see that right there. There, right here, we got um, the stabilizer link. We're gonna go ahead and change that. Um, also, we got the new tie rods because my old tie rods are pretty shot. You're gonna see the difference between those and these right here. And I actually I never used these this company before. Um, every time I had to change like my steering rod, I usually went OEM, but um, these should be good enough. Um, and then also. I got these babies over here. Oh. Uh, let me see. I ain't open it yet. Those other ones I opened with because those are smaller boxes. So I was like, let me go ahead. These I want to open with y'all. So I can see what I'm working with. Let me see. Let me open this box. got one of my two control arms. So, uh, I'm gonna take it out the plastic so you guys get a better, a better look. Seem pretty good. It won't seem like no cheap material, nothing like that. I don't expect I never expected it to be no cheap material, but so we're gonna go ahead and install all this stuff today. Um, it's not supposed to rain, but it looks a little gloomy outside. It's Easter Sunday, so we never know what might happen, but let's get these on my car, man. All right, guys, so real quick, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm working with. Um, as you can see, everything underneath here is like old, rusted. I can't remember the last time I changed them, but um, I think I had took it a couple years back to, uh, Shit, what's the name of that the mechanic shop out here? Somebody just called me? Damn, I can't remember. Is it a motor? A motor There's a car, Beamer shop out in Queens I used to go to all the time. Oh, shit, I can't remember their name. But yeah, they had did this for me. Or whatever, but you can see. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this bolt off. I believe that's like a 16. I'm going to take off these two right here. 17s and then i'm gonna take off another bolt this bolt right here i believe that's like a 22. um that bolt is actually pretty hard to get out but because my motor isn't in as you can see it's easy it's easier for me usually there's like no room to get up in there so i was told so pretty simple <laughs> So this bowl is actually a 17. I think all of them are 17. Ooh. 
this shit tearing too. See that right there? It's tearing. I was driving around like that for a little while. It's crazy. Damien the cut. I right, got so just now I took off about uh three bolts. All those were seventeens. Now this is the other bolt I was talking about. I gotta take off right there. That's next to the motor mount. Um, it's easy because I can just get it out like this. Usually you get a hard time getting it out because it's all the way over there under the motor. But my life is easy today, so. Now, uh, this part gets a little tricky, a little hard, because I had to bang this shit out real, real hard. Oh, if I had a, a ball drill remover, it would be a lot easier. Well, I think we do. I think we do. I don't feel like looking. I might have to look, though. Let me go look. All right, so I found the ball drill remover. And, um... Let's see if I get this arm So there you have it. You got the new control arm and the old control arm. Definitely tell the difference between the two. So there you have it. You got my boy Damien right here in the cut. But that's how you change your control over the E36. I only did the passenger side. I didn't do the driver side because I'm missing some tools that Kerry from Cash Racing Motorsports has. Um, there go my boy. Shove mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. <laughs> but... If you can, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe my channel. I got a lot more videos coming up. A lot more stuff to finish up on my Beamer, all right? Catch you on the next video.